what is going on guys Brando here back with another video and today I decided to make an updated uh, 2024 rage tank guide um, we're actually a few hours from uh, the release of uh, the next DLC um, so for any new players out there or new to rage um, and looking for a you know a 20 24 tank guide for the new DLC um, this is uh, your video right here so let's uh, let's dive into it uh, for tank I have two armories now uh, sometimes you'll have to switch around other powers you know if you have to you know maybe single target taunt a boss with lasso and things like that uh, but let's jump into the um, Let's jump into the traits and uh, stat points. Uh, so, for rage, uh, I now I used to do hybrid, but I don't I don't know what it is. But I feel like they've been nerfing, um, uh, like the power. Like whenever you run, like if there's no troll or the troll dies, I feel like it's way worse than what it used to be. Um, one one like when I'm hybrid and if a troll dies it's like it's it's pretty much wraps you know and same with like if I'm in an alert and there's no troll so I, I don't even run hybrid at all anymore it's just not worth it uh, because of the power issue uh, so super powered then we're gonna do 10 and 10 because for rage it's a it's a, a heal back uh, mechanic it's not based on stats so 10 and 10 and then for Rage, uh, you want to max out your health and then put the rest in the Dawn. For Iconic Powers, you can pick up uh, Lasso and Hard Light Shield. Super Speed, you can pick up uh, Dash and then you could get the Recovery Powers um, Resistant. And then for Weapons, uh, I like One Handed. Uh, I think it's the best. Um, I think it's the best for uh, Rage Tank. Um, Fast counters, good lunge. It's just a good one. The only other uh, lunge that's really quick too is a uh, shield. But the thing with shield is is you can't lunge uh, cancel. It's it's weird. Like so, like if I do a lunge cancel, but I don't want to. I don't want to lunge all the way to the boss. All I do is uh, lunge. Lun with with one handed, it works good. So boom, you know. But if I was shield, I would do this, and it actually wouldn't count as a lunge. Uh, I'm actually going to join this uh, just to show you some gameplay. Uh, so you guys get the idea of rage, because uh, everything is, 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 a, is a lot similar to last, last year's uh, tank guide. So I'll quickly uh, talk about it. So I knocked out all of this stuff here. Let's go to uh, let's go to the allies. So Death Metal Batman is a really good uh, for debuffing. You can debuff. Uh, you can debuff. Um, let me check the exact. Oops. Yeah, so damage, uh, healing, defense, attack. So it's really good for a tank to use it. Basically, it's a debuff and, and um, you know, yeah, the DPSs are going to do a, a whole bunch of damage. So it's good for a tank to use it. Uh, then for allies, the support allies, it's going to be Batman and Lex Luthor. Um I like to use Batman when I'm using uh, Mercy, which is the uh, AOE pull. But when I'm using Iron, which is the group breakout, then I'm going to switch to uh, uh, Superman. Using a great a group breakout uh, gives you and all your teammates a 35% damage reduction shield. Uh, so this is a, this is the other armory setup. Everything is exactly the same except I use the group breakout and then I use uh, you know 
it's all it's super powered everything exactly the same so group group big group breakout superman ally and uh the uh, yeah that's pretty much it so let's um let's get back into the uh affinity mods now uh generator mods are obviously going to be health and dominance Affinity mod bonuses. I like to get dominance, uh, just because for my skill points, I max out health. So I figure, let me make up a little bit on dominance. Uh, rejuvenating escape mod for type C, uh, which heals yourself a little bit when you use your group breakout. And then I like to do sure-footed, um, which helps with like control resistance. All right. So weapon absorption adapter for the mods. Uh, head mod doesn't really matter right now this is an OP item uh, so I'm using uh, one for DPS neck mod fortified assault is the best to use back accelerated redirected rage which is this shield right here chest mod is hardy one more health legs doesn't matter feet tumbling master and hands regenerative shielding and then for artifacts um, uh, Lazarus and Manacles are 100%. You're always going to use those. And then the third artifact varies. Uh, I like to. I just run Mystic. You can also run Everyman Prototype. You can run uh, Refractor. There, there's a lot of different options. Um, but I would say Mystic, Everyman Prototype, or uh, what else? Oh, the, they're the new Tornado Artifact. Maybe you could run that to get a little damage. I, I don't recommend it though. Usually the tornado, the new tornado artifact is used for uh, uh, battle tank setups. So yeah, that covers that. Um, the, this is the stun I use for the consumable chrono, the chronos. Uh, this is the breakout, personal breakout, uh, orbital supply drop. Of course, uh, dominance for the augments. Um, yeah, that should have covered everything. Um, just so you guys can understand rage, um, <clears throat> you get the following benefits while in tank roll. You get a 25% increase in health, 50% increase in defense while not blocking, 3%, perce uh, three perception, you gain scar tissue, superpowers gain taunt. Scar tissue as your combo meter increases, gain health equal to the percentage of your dom up to 50% of your dominance. So all it is is your combo uh, meter, so like if you're spamming pull. So you, you, I think it's uh, 15 is the cap. So once you reach like I think 10 or 15, you get a bunch of health and that's the uh, cap. So you have to make sure you stay above uh, 10 or 15, I can't remember which one it was. All right, so this is just the uh, ultimate soldier reg. Just going to show you a quick uh, a demonstration of rage. Yeah, guys, the new DLC is dropping um, in a few hours. There's, there's going to be downtime. Uh, so we're probably... Uh, I'm Pacific time. It's al it's almost uh, a couple hours. It'll be uh, midnight. So we're looking at probably, I think they said downtime, eight hours. So 12, 14, 16 hours, probably in 16 hours, the DLC should be out. We've done a great job defending the stronghold, but we have a new threat upon us we've been unable to stop. A new enemy soldier threatens us. We must find a way to defeat him or all is lost. All right, so Mercy, you're going to kind of gather here. Rage cancel right there. All right, let's head to the next batch. Rage cancel. The Rage Cancel is also a stun, which is Dreadful Blast. 
All right. So once you understand the rage crash and canceling it, rage is really good. All right. So we're gonna start off with the orbital. This is the debuff ally. I always like to start out with it. Cancel, pop your shield. You're always you're always gonna you're always gonna clip your shield. All right. Start pulling ads. You can see Dreadful Blast. Keep pulling out here. So yeah, you're always gonna rotate clipping a shield with uh, Dreadful Blast. It's right here, boom, hard light. This is kind of a game flow loop. Once you get the hang of it, it's very easy. So now we're just kind of so sometimes I'll, I won't go to severe punishment until my shield goes away. So boom, it went away. I'm gonna go severe punishment, right? So now we're just kind of countering. <laughs> Drop the debuff ally, death metal Batman. So let me show you scar tissue. So right now I'm at 23 hit. The village has been defended, even with so I would be getting scar tissue. Let me see, my health should drop. Perhaps the tide has turned and we will win. Maybe I didn't get to my... See, there you go. It dropped. 64,000. So we're in a low DLC content, so the health is like super small. So yeah, guys, that's a quick demonstration um, with the gameplay loop for Rage Tank. <clears throat> Trying to make this video nice and uh, quick here. The only thing I didn't show you was like the gameplay loop if you were using um, the group breakout, which is Ire. The only difference is, is there's two things that are going to happen. Either you're going to need to save Ire specifically for a mechanic so there's a lot of mechanics in boss fights where you have to use the group breakout uh, because the bosses do a certain move where it pulls in the group and it will kill them or something. So you're either going to save it for specific scenarios where you need it for the group or uh, you're going to always use it right before uh, severe punishment, before you cancel the dreadful blast, right? So this is the rage can uh, cancel power, right? So you would use this shortly before Dreadful Blast, so you can't get interrupted when you go to cancel your Rage Crash. So it would look like this. I'll just show you a quick, you know, general. Boom. All right, let's pop it right there and clip. Kind of, that's kind of the general thing. And then here's the example I'm talking about. My shield is still up, so I'm not gonna go to severe punishment right away, right? All right, let's say my shield went away. Severe punishment. That scar tissue. All right, hit it. And cancel. And that's pretty much it. Um, that should have covered everything. Uh, like I said, I didn't actually physically show you my generator mods, my base, but it's going to be dominance and health. And that's, uh, that's it, guys. Um, quick uh, updated rage tank guide for 2024 all right see you in the next video peace